Welcome, welcome back to Claydesk. My name is Syed, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you and teach you how to pass your technical support interview. So if you have a technical support interview coming up, right, for any organization, enterprise organization, small, large, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna help you succeed, and to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover in this video. I'm gonna give you a list of technical interview questions that I strongly recommend that you prepare. And these interview questions are suitable for all technical support job roles. And I'm going to give you example answers to difficult technical support interview questions. And I'm also going to give you some tips, by the way, on how you can actually stand out during your technical support interview. And finally, by the way, I will also tell you how you can access further resources, including these you know, resources that I have, and you can download these as well. So let's jump right in. First technical support interview question I want you to prepare for is hey tell me about yourself pretty basic now it's imperative that you get your technical support interview off to a positive start now to achieve that my advice is to give an answer that talks about how you can add value to their organization right through your skills your experience and your qualities okay so here's a great answer that is going to assist you Okay, to basically tell me about yourself, if that's what they ask you, okay, you are going to be able to, you know, answer this very effectively and efficiently. And that's what I'm going to be talking about. Okay, that's what I'm going to tell you. So I am a fully committed, knowledgeable and confident technical support worker who possesses the necessary skills, the qualities and the experience to meet the demands of the job description. Now, I take great pride in the work that I carry out as a technical support specialist, and I believe that the problem-solving capabilities, the communication, and the interpersonal skills, and the attention to detail that I possess will ensure that I make a fast and immediate impact within the role. I can prioritize you know, my tasks very easily, okay? and I work very well with the team, and strong customer-focused capabilities that ensures the work that I do that always provides timely and knowledgeable support that helps my clients and customers achieve their objectives. Now, if you hire me within this technical support position, I will quickly get up to speed of the role, understand and start contributing to reach the objectives. So you immediately see that I positively return on your investment. Now, that is a brilliant answer to the first question, right? So you gotta go through it over and over again to learn, to understand, and take a look at some of the key points that I've discussed, right? And the verbs that I've used, okay? And, and I'm, you can always download these, of course, on my blog, which is blog.clayass.com. And you can you know, download all these questions that I'm gonna be covering, so this was the first one. Let's move on to the next question. Now, what do you expect to be doing in this technical support role on a daily basis? Now, this interview question is clearly assessing whether you've read the job description for the technical support role that you're applying for. Now, I've done the hard work for you, and here's my answer to assist you. What do you expect to be doing in this technical support role on a daily basis? That's the question, right? Now, here's the answer. I will have numerous duties and responsibilities that are all centered on ensuring that I provide timely and quality technical support to customers and clients on a daily basis. I will be required to troubleshoot technical issues, provide product support, assisting the launch of new applications, and assure that I talk customers through matters to get to the root of the issue so it can be rectified as fast as possible. Other duties include resolving network problems, identifying hardware and software solutions, and conducting relevant tests to ensure that problems are non-recurring. I understand technical support as a role that requires the ability to manage lots of tasks concurrently, so I'm a great multitasker, and I demonstrate exceptional problem-solving skills. And the desire to maintain a high level of competence in the role that ensures that you can conduct your duties consistently to a high standard. Now that's a great answer, right? That means that you fully understand what you'll be required to do on a daily basis within this specific role. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to give you some other questions and answer, right? So if you go to the blog, once again, you can download the PDF where you'll be able to see all the questions and answers that I'm talking about right here. Okay. Now, these are great questions and pretty much canned questions that everyone asked. All interviewers asked this question. Okay. And this is great when you practice because take a look at the question, go through the answer again. So this is something that you'll be learning through practicing, right? All right. Now, make sure you have an answer already prepared for the question that demonstrate that you have researched their company and, you know, you plan to stay working for a long period of time. Okay. Now, let me give you another one. Why do you want to work for us? Again, a very great question, right? So this is where they will ask you, why do you want to work for us? Now, typically when people answer this question, right, they go to, you know, left, right, they go all over the place, right? Now, I like to work for you because you're a company that has a strong track record for achieving. So that means it is clear that people have spoken to that you support your staff and you have ambitious plans for the future. And we spend a lot of time at work and being in a technical support role requires a supported employer that wants to provide the right training and the right working environment that enables the staff to operate at a high level, right? Now, working for your company, I will have all of those things, and I'm very much looking forward to being a part of your team if I'm successful at the interview today. So, short and sweet, but very positive answer, because that demonstrates that you've conducted a little bit of research into the company, and you're very positive about working for the organization within the technical support role, okay? Now, why do you want to work in a technical support? And that's the next question, right? Why do you want to work in technical support? What's in it for you? Now, working in technical support takes someone who is confident, someone who's prepared to maintain their technical knowledge, and someone who can manage lots of tasks concurrently, right? Multitasking. So your answer will demonstrate your awareness of the demands of the role and show a positive attitude to what lies ahead once you're working in this particular position. So here's the answer for this. Why do you want to work in technical support? Okay. Now, I've always been the type of person who wants to work in a role where no two days are the same, where I am pushed and challenged technically, and where I get to deal with a variety of issues and problems that test my knowledge and my skill set. Now, working in technical support, gives me all of this. I also want to work in an environment where I have the responsibility for ensuring my own competence and my knowledge is kept up to date. Now, I enjoy learning new things, new technologies, and working in technical support requires you to constantly evolve with the ever-changing technological advancements, right, that are coming to the industry on a regular basis. That's a great answer, a very strong answer, right? All right, let me give you another one. Another question, how would you calm down if there is a customer who's not happy? Now, being able to deal with difficult customers, right, or callers is vital to customer support as a technical customer support specialist, okay? And here's your answer, where the communication is key here, right? Because you can, you know, you're able to deal with any type of situation. Here's the answer for this. So how would you calm down? If the customer is unhappy, that's the question. So whenever dealing with a difficult customer, it's very important to listen to them, to give them the opportunity to explain how they feel and how to make them feel valued. I would use effective communication skills to listen to their issue. And I will ask the right questions at the right time to get to the bottom of the problem, right? Without pushing my own solution to them, right? And as fast a time as possible. So if you show the customer that you generally care about their issue and you demonstrate you know, confidence and technical know-how when dealing with the problem, this will massively help you know, to build trust. And this is how you would move forward, right? In the customer's best interest. So that's a great answer as well, right? So again, practice with this. Let me give you another question. So how would you deal with a customer that calls up for, for example, for assistance, right? and on a product that you have no knowledge of. So the person who has the knowledge 
relating to the product is not available and the customer needs an answer urgently. Now that's a difficult question because you don't have knowledge, right? How do you actually deal with it? Because it's assessing your levels and resourcefulness. How would you react to this in this situation? Well, while working, would you find a you know way around the problem or would you get someone else to solve the problem? So here's the answer. So again, the question is, how do you deal with a customer that comes up for assistance for a product that you have no knowledge of? And the person who does have knowledge relating to the product is not available. And the customer needs immediate answer. Here's the answer. I would be resourceful and I would refer to the technical manual, right? Or the operating procedures to get to the bottom of the issue as fast a time as possible. I would be honest with the caller as well. And I would explain how I would need a little bit more time to carry out some research for example, to understand the issue and then come up with a resolution. I would give the caller the option to either wait on the call or to have me call the customer back on a predetermined time frame with an update. I would then ensure that I call back the customer as agreed to give an update on the progress that I was making against their issue. And I would not stop to there, right, until I find the solution. Now that demonstrates that you're positive, your resourcefulness and a positive way to solve a problem. So that's really important, okay? Now, these areas, of course, are fluid because sometimes you're talking to a customer where you need to have, you know, improvisation because you improvise an answer. And again, that comes through experience and practice, right? Remember, practice, practice, practice. And that's really what this is all about because if you practice all these questions and answers over and over again, you get pretty good at it, okay? So these are the top, questions that I put together. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you find this video useful. And again, I'll put a link in the description where you can actually navigate to our blog and download these top questions where you're able to just go through them, read them, understand what these are, and then, you know, practice. And these are again, the, the top questions that I put together that are typically asked. And of course, when I interview people, whether it's in the technical support role or the DevOps role or the you know, engineering role, whatever role that is, I typically ask these questions. And, and this is really what things are all about. Because remember, when you are in an interview situation, the key questions are very important. And I've covered them right here in this video. Okay. Now, there are other questions like uh, maybe tell me about the project that you're working for. Tell me about the challenges you face. Right. And I'm going to give you those as well as we move on but for this particular video i wanted to cover the core questions because once you start the interview process the first impression by the way is the last impression so make sure you start with a positive way you answer the questions very positively with confidence and again once you set the tone of the interview okay and that's important too because then people will start to the interview will start to sort of like have a good vibe coming from you, right? Because they know that you're knowledgeable, they know you're technical, they know you can, you're a strong communicator, you know how to handle customers, you know how to talk to people, you're a people's person, as well as have the technical know-how. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions, post your comments down below, and let me know if you have another questions, I will answer that in the comments and give you some feedback. Thanks for watching, my name is Syed, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.